Okay, so you want to create a cool boss fight for your game, but you're lacking creativity and inspiration. What do you do? This video is aimed to help by showing you how to design a boss in just four easy steps. I will be explaining the design process via Unreal Engine and Blender. However, I will not be covering the blueprinting or modeling required to produce the boss in this video. The first thing to do is set up your boss room. I can't stress how much easier designing a boss is when you've got a room to build it around. It helps massively when deciding the boss's abilities and it also prevents you from creating a 200 IQ boss fight just to end up with a boss that looks like it's meant for Mario and an environment that looks like something out of Dark Souls. So track back through your level and following the same design try to whip yourself up a boss room. For games with limited combat abilities which require more interactive environments, pick a shape off the internet and create an environment around this. This will allow the environment to play more of a part in the boss fight. The game I'm creating has no combat abilities, so I decided to make the boss room a circle shape, where the player risks falling off the edge. I used previous parts from my level to ensure it matched level design. I used cubes to ensure the room was symmetrical. I then copy pasted the entire room together, added some badass lighting, and was done. The next step is boss design. Bosses can come in almost any shape and size, so if you already have an idea, don't be afraid to try it out. For those of you who don't, pick a keyword that you would use to describe your level. Once you've got it, go onto Google Images and search your keyword with boss on the end. As my level is in an Egypt setting, I use the word sand. Browse through the bosses until you see one you like, then go on to search again and Google that type of boss further. Keep browsing until you've narrowed down how you want your boss to look. When you're decided, grab some reference photos and get to work on your 3D modelling. While this modelling clip is playing, I just want to take a couple of seconds to talk about myself and what I do, to anyone who is new to my channel or is just dropping in on this video. My name is John and I'm an indie game developer currently in production of my first indie game ever. While I'm working on my game, I'm also working really hard to get out YouTube videos and grow my channel, as I've always wanted to become a full-time game developer and YouTuber. I focus my content on Unreal Engine and Blender tutorials, hoping to teach people the software with the skills I've learned over the past few years. As I'm just starting up my YouTube, getting views and subscribers is incredibly slow, as I'm sure a lot of you out there know. So if you're watching and want to see more videos and tutorials based on Unreal Engine and Blender, or if you're just a nice person and want to help me grow my channel, please drop a sub. It means more to me than you know. Anyway, thanks for listening, let's get back to the video. The best way to come up with abilities for your boss is by bouncing ideas off other games. Take a look at bosses in World of Warcraft, Zelda, Cuphead, or any of the boss fights you can find following a similar game designed to yours. I'm by no means telling you to scan the web for abilities to copy think about how you could incorporate similar attack mechanics into your own boss. Take this boss from World of Warcraft. A tentacle slams down after a few seconds, instantly killing anyone stood underneath it. Great. Instead of looking at this at face value, try to think about the mechanics behind it. The mechanic being, the boss begins channeling the attack. If you're in the attack area when the boss has finished channeling, you die. Now think about how that mechanic could be used in your own game. Maybe you're creating a Dark Souls type game and you're fighting a demon who slams his weapon down in front of you after a few seconds. Maybe you're fighting a lightning god who charges up then shoots lightning bolts in certain areas of the boss room. All these attacks use the same mechanic, but when compared at face value, they're completely different. So get inspired by other game boss mechanics, just make sure you don't copy any abilities. As for me, I was inspired by the head boss in Super Mario Odyssey, Our Lady, of the charred visage in Blasphemous and Gun D4M in Secrets of Grindia. So I made a laser spin attack, a hand slam attack, and a frontal laser beam attack. Just one more thing on abilities. I can't stress how important it is to have passive attacks going on in between main boss attacks. 
Most of the time, the primary boss attack will take a few seconds to activate, and during this time the player will be just waiting around for it to happen. Passive attacks give the player something to do in between primary attacks. See how slow and dull my boss fight is without a passive ability. Now compare it to with a passive ability of spawning lasers. The perfect boss fight will combine primary boss abilities with a number of passive ones to make the boss progressive and challenging, yet killable. In this section we talk about how to actually kill the boss. If your game is a combat based game you will use whatever combat abilities your character possesses to slash down your boss. Don't forget to make it interesting by switching between boss abilities and attack openings. For games with limited combat abilities you only really have two choices. The boss being damaged by his own abilities or the boss being damaged by the environment, either killing him or leaving him vulnerable. Ask yourself these questions. Can the boss's abilities be turned against him? Can the environment be turned against him? Does the boss have any weaknesses I could turn into a killing point? If the answer to all those is no, I recommend adding one of them. If you really can't think of anything, as a last resort you can make your boss a time survival boss, where after surviving for a set amount of time, or a certain number of abilities, the boss dies on his own accord. By following these four steps and really branching out your boss knowledge through videos, I'm sure you'll come up with a boss in no time. And that being said, here's my very basic first draft boss. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. What is Coco doing? If he doesn't stop this, everything is going to be destroyed.